Hey, this is Charles with Black Rifle Arms. I want to do an uh, introduction of our new CAP system, that's Combat Adaptive Piston System. Going to do a quick overview of it. Uh, we'll go over disassembly, go over the regulator, what makes our system different from uh, our competitors. We'll go over reassembly. All right, now we're zoomed in on the gas block. We're going to go ahead and go over the disassembly. Push in on our detent here. Push out our cross pin. Cross pin comes out. You can pull out the piston regulator and the op rod. All right, now that we've got everything disassembled, let's go over some parts nomenclature. We've got our op rod, got our piston return spring. We've got what we call a spring guide. It also acts as a piston stop. We've got our piston, our piston cylinder, and then we've got our regulator bushing here and our regulator knob as well. And right here is our cross pin that holds the assembly in the gas block. All right, now since we've got everything out here, I want to go ahead and really focus on the regulator since this is where everything happens. We'll start out and draw your attention here to this small gas port here. This is a gas port designed specifically to run with a silencer to help control the back pressure that's created from a silencer. Then we rotate cylinder over to the left. It gets us to our next largest gas port, which we consider our normal setting. Uh, should give you reliable functioning with a, a relatively clean firearm. Then we go to our next larger setting, which gives us an adverse setting so that when the firearm's been heavily used and, and the fouling is starting to build up, it will continue to function the rifle. We went ahead and included a fourth setting with our system here. We figured worst case scenario, if somebody's in a defense situation or combat or what have you, they can give this thing about 7% more gas than their adverse setting and continue to run it. Obviously, we recommend that you run the system on the lowest setting that it runs reliably on. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put this uh, piston assembly together. Take our regulator, run our piston in, take our return spring, slide it on the off rod. You'll notice it locks into place. Take our spring guide and piston stop. It locks into place. Nothing comes off. Slide the assembly through the gas block into the upper receiver. Take the cross pin, line it in the gas block, push in on the assembly, snaps and locks into place. Alright, now I want to go over the regulator knob and how the system actually functions in the gas block. One of the key things that separates uh, our cap system from every other piston system that's out there is, is the regulator bushing that we have. It allows us to be able to rotate our knob 360 degrees continuously. Uh, most of the systems that are out there are configured by having a groove in the gas block uh, with lugs essentially on the uh, piston cylinder that interlock in the gas block and they assemble and disassemble by rotating into the into the channel that's cut in the gas block. With our system everything's held together with the cross pin which gives us that 360 degree rotation. Uh, that, that eliminates any possibility of the operator uh, in a hurry running through the system and either turning it the wrong direction or turning it too far and unlatching the system. All right, now let's focus specifically on the CAP system and, and not a comparison between our system and any other system. I'm going to start out right here. Uh, we have a witness mark up on top here. I'll show you when we rotate to the suppressed setting, but our witness mark is up here on top, essentially 12 o'clock position. That's our normal setting. I'm going to rotate to the right one click and you'll hear it. That's our audible sound, so you know you've just moved over one adjustment audibly. Now you notice this witness mark here at the front of the knob indicates what setting you're in if you wanted to visualize your setting as opposed to going by, by sound. This is our suppressed setting. You run your suppressor. This is where you want to be. Remove the suppressor. You go to normal operations. Pull out on the knob and then release it and turn it till you hear the click. That drops into our normal setting. Have interlocking teeth so that the system can not accidentally move from one setting to the other. It's, it's pretty much a permanent lock until you pull forward on it again. We can go to our adverse setting and you hear the click again. This sets us up in the adverse setting. Also while I have it here, let me go ahead and bring to your attention our exhaust port that's here. When I run the piston back, you'll see it'll open up. 
that allows any excess gas and fouling to be discharged out our exhaust port. And then finally, our last setting is even beyond an adverse setting. It gives you about 7% more gas than our adverse setting does. Obviously, that would be used for your absolute worst case scenario. You, you don't have any opportunity to take the gun down for maintenance, but you need to keep it running. Uh, this is where you would end up. Uh, lastly, we didn't talk about it before, you can actually turn the system off from any one of the settings it's in by moving to a half point. Pull out on the regulator knob, turn it halfway between the settings, and that will actually shut the gas off to the system entirely.